So next we have out in the cold. We have lost contact with two transports en route to the outer colonies. There were more than 400 de ferry on those vessels, and with the rising threat from the Breen, I fear the worst. Their last known location was near VZA-4001, and I suggest that you start your research. Eh, search there. Always confuse search with research, don't know why. It's just a verbal thing. The Breen have no uh, compunction against attacking civilian ships. We seek peace with the Breen as we do with all things, but they answer our offers of friendship with death and destruction. Uh, find our ships. If there are any survivors, please bring them home safely. And we can get a Breen Transphasic Cluster Torpedo from that. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I do know those things, Chapel. Um, I do know orbit what Orbital Chasing Beam does, I just don't know the exact numbers on it. That's what I've been looking for and I haven't been able to find anywhere. It's... I don't know. They're like... Someone shoved these stats up their ass or something. Absolutely no screenshots found, absolutely no YouTube videos found, absolutely no information from fellow fleetmates about it, at least when I've been asking about it. I just want to know the exact damage per second, or whatever other numerical stats that the orbital chasing beam has, before I commit any money to getting it. So we have the VZA-4001 system. Is an uninhabited star system. The three planets of the system were destroyed approximately 5,200 years ago when one of the two stars in the system collapsed, creating a black hole. The gravitational pull from the black hole was at an angle from the planets, and the gravitational shear tore the planets apart. The area is on the major trade route for the Defera sector. Alrighty. Sir, we are receiving an emergency distress signal from the Deferi Freighter Sabok. I'm patching it through to the main view screen now, sir. To all ships in range, this is the Deferi Freighter Sabok. We are under attack and require immediate assistance. We have no weaponry aboard and our shields are failing. Anyone who can hear this, please help. It must be one of the Breen raiding parties that we were warned about, sir. If we put, uh, if we don't get there fast, there won't be anyone left aboard to save. I've located the Sabok by tracing their distress signal, sir, and we can engage on your command. Alrighty. Um, well, you did say engage on my command, so um, I was thinking of maybe some warp coordinates, but... Hmm. Let's see. Rather, uh, rather nice looking uh, space area, though. Whoa. Overshot a little bit. Hello, how are you? Would you like a nice gravity well? Well, even if you didn't, I gave it to you, so have fun with it. They blew up. <laughs> Thank you for saving us. Our sister ship, the Pak Tau, was waylaid by Breen Raiders at our scheduled rendezvous point. We made a micro warp jump as soon as the Breen arrived and used the magnetic field of the comet to hide our energy signature. But the Breen have better sensors than we do. They found us. If you hadn't come along uh, when you did, we would have been obliterated. I'm worried about the Breen being at our next stop, so I'm going to try to get there ahead of schedule and be gone before they arrive. If you could, please find the Pak Tau. 
there were dozens of people aboard that ship. This is the Deferi ship Paktau, speaking of the devil. We escaped from a Breen slaver attack and our antimatter containment unit and warp coils are non-functional. We need some replacement parts immediately. We are on the edge of a warp core breach. Is there any ship in range? Please, we need help. Hmm. I, uh, yeah, I found a clip of it being used too, Chapel, but I found a clip of it being used, but there is no mouse over the ability. So, I don't know if your clip uh, contains a mouse over for the ability, but the one I found didn't. Uh, the guy did mouse over some of his abilities on the hotbar, but seems to have engaged orbital chasing beam with uh, a hotkey combination, and he was just mousing over the other things. So, it wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> it wasn't helpful at all. Um, I have seen it used many times. I have seen it used many times in the actual game, but uh, prior to having an engineer, so I haven't been able to actually find anyone since then, like in the past weeks, who has orbital chasing beam and ask them, hey, what are these stats on your orbital chasing beam? Uh, it's actually, yeah, hmm. it's actually used very frequently in um, in the the ferry ground. Uh, missions which we will be doing hopefully later today so maybe I'll find someone there hello Nikoni <laughs> I'm going to assume that hello included me <laughs> um, there we go so we have the Paktau beam parts aboard the Paktau Sir, there are Breen ships inbound at warp 7. Two waves from the looks of it. The first should be on top of us in a few seconds. Battle stations. Alrighty. Defeat Breen raiders. Uh, that's pretty easy. Let's uh, defeat some raiders then. Oh, a Chelgret warship, eh? Well, that's unfortunate for you. Here, have a singularity. And the drone, and aceton beams, and tachyon beams, and all the good stuff. <laughs> the gravity will trigger the second one, which is nice. The leak sh leaked ships. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Transfacing cluster torpedo. No thanks. Looks like we Titans uh, rifted each other. Paktau Captain, thank you for your fortunate assistance. We should be fine from here. I want to catch up with our sister sh ship, the Sabok. <clears throat> they fled at the first sight of the Breen Raiders. We heard some of the slavers who attacked us talking about the Zarya system. If you want to take care of the Breen menace for good, you might want to start by looking for them there. Course laid in for the Zarya system, sir. Looks like we are not uh, there's nothing there of interest just a broken planetoid. The system scan the Deferi provided are fairly out of date though, so something may have changed. Uh, standing by to engage at your command. Very well. 
Iconian Dreadnought. Iconian Dreadnought and Iconian Frigate. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Sounds uh, sounds completely overpowered. <laughs> sounds completely overpowered. <laughs> and we're probably going to have to pay for it. Um, I wonder how much they'll charge us for that. Oh my god. I dread to think. <laughs> but Iconian Dreadnought and Iconian Frigate, that sounds like it's going to be completely overpowered in every pos possible way. Uh, Zarya system. Alpha Zarya. Alpha Zarya 30 is a hot G-class G star that is very similar to the star at the center of the Sol system. However, it was not always so. The star was a cooler class K star in the early 22nd century. The furry scientists believe that the neutral metals in the core of the star came in contact with a source of protomatter, igniting the star and increasing its core temperature significantly. The resulting explosion destroyed the two worlds in close orbit with the star. Hello, Admiral. How are you today? Hmm. Sir, the destroyed planet has a dilithium-rich core. It looks like the Breen have set up a mine inside the remains of the planetoid, and true to form, they're using all the captured deferred as slave labor. We'll have to defeat the Breen uh, picket squadrons before we can beam to the mine. It looks like there are only a small force. There is only a small force. Oh well. Um, the ship that I'm most interested in the ships that I'm most inter interested in being released for Star Trek Online are Tier 6 Galaxy Class and Tier 6 The Dead Decks. I really want those. Uh, other than that, it's probably going to be some overpowered ships that they're going to force people to pay with, uh, pay for. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Hmm. Okay, let's destroy some Breen. We have a Chelgret warship over here. Let's take care of you first. Hello, Mr. Chell. Have a gravity well. It almost rhymes. I love that duty officer that causes the uh, <coughs> gravity one after shock. Delicious. Hmm. Now there's talk of Borg ships. Madness, I tell you, madness. Oh, if anything, they might they might release Borg uh, themed ships. Uh, for lifetime subscribers. They do have the Liberated Borg as an exclusive for lifetime subscribers. So that might be a good incentive to give to people to uh, make a lifetime subscription. Probably nothing too extreme. Keep shooting me. I care. I really care. You're gonna, you're gonna kill me eventually. Like, keep shooting. Keep shooting. I'm sure. It, I'm sure you'll do damage. I'm sure you'll do damage today. 
The Kobari uh, set abilities are so overpowered. They're like broken. Broken good. And the last squadron. Regenerative integrity field. Completely fucking broken. Kubari shield capacitor also broken. And nanite screen. I haven't used this effectively yet. Should be good. I really like the cruiser though so far with the um, disco beams and the extreme survivability that I've been able to leverage. <laughs> Love it. That's the last of the scout squadrons, sir. Unfortunately, we can't just beam up the Deferi. The Breen have some sort of transporter disruptor field in place. We need to get down there and disable it before we can rescue the Deferi slave laborers. Indeed, he do. Seems like I have all my skills not reset. Very good. Hmm. Doing a new Star Trek game at PAX. Star Trek Timelines. Interesting. So our sensors were showing that the Breen are using three separate transport disruptors. We will need to knock out those disruptors before we can transport any of the prisoners back to the Grotius. The transport disruptors appear to be specifically keyed to the ferry physiology. That would allow the Breen to beam in and out at will, but the prison prisoners would be trapped. It also explains why our transporter signal wasn't disrupted. We will need to neutralize any Borg guard troops. Uh, guard groups inside as well. We can't risk any un unexpected brain technology that might interfere with our rescue operation. Alrighty. I do know that this mission has a little bit of a boss fight at the end. These prison cells are tied into the transporter inhibitors. Shutting the inhibitors down should also uh, should allow us to rescue the captured Deferi. I'm also reading additional Deferi life signs or on other levels. Based on preliminary readings, all cells are connected to the same mechanism. Let's see. So we just need to disable some inhibitors, of course. Obviously. Hello. I really like this Valdvar gun. It has a nice firing animation with the ejected shells and stuff. Oddly enough though, it only ejects shells once in a while. Maybe ju that's just uh, to avoid... Uh, avoid frame rate drops and stuff. Who knows? I'm in a blizzard! That's an interesting ability. I've never seen them use that before.
Mm -hmm. A kid god. <laughs> That's a silly name. Okay, I'm gonna need to engage the team shield buff because we're getting shot at pretty hard here. Nice. Lots of turrets. <laughs> yeah, that this this also really. Um, really makes me think about having an all engineer team. Think of all the turrets we could have. Think of all the turrets we could have. And drones? Oh my god. It would be glorious. Uh, ooh, actually... No, it doesn't... It doesn't seem to... Uh, he does beam in the additional phaser turrets. But it doesn't seem to affect the skill on the tooltip, so it's kind of weird. Okay. Probably gonna gonna look into that though. Probably gonna look into having um, an engineer only team. It's too good of an opportunity to pass up. Gonna have to somehow order it in a way that I have someone acting as a sort of tank and give someone some sort of healing abilities as well. Or else it's just gonna end up being really awkward. <laughs> so I suppose we could drop turrets, mines, and support drones and retreat and then let the enemy run into the mines and turrets. That could be... Uh, a no healing approach to things. I'll have to think about that. There's another inhibitor. Three A. All right. Mm, too bad my uh, orbital strike is on cooldown. Let's try the, try out the new mines though. <laughs> <laughs> Love that damage. I would have really liked to have a uh, kit with the um, weapon, demolitions and turret modifiers, but understandably a lot of people want that and so um, I found one, I think, but it was pretty expensive and by the time I had decided to maybe try and get it, it was already bought by someone else. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that. <coughs> okay, so only this squad of Breen Slave Masters left to defeat. <laughs> okay, here comes the boss fight. That's all the disruptors and guards, sir. 
I'm picking up a new contact aboard the station. We may have aroused the curiosity of the Breen commander. We should uh, make sure the Deferi have beamed away safely before investigating this new threat. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I want to bring out a mortar? You know what? The Seeker Dawn Mark 11 is actually really damn good, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the, these. The mortar, the uh, mortar Mark 11 is, is also really nice though. It's 782 damage per shot, but it only shoots every nine seconds. Very nice if I manage to hold him still though. And we have the flash bombs, which I very rarely use. Uh, gonna be around here-ish. Drop some turrets first. Summon some drones. And... We have confirmation that all the ferry prisoners have transported safely. We are clear to return. Not really. Thought Trell, you are the one known as Blast Wrench. I was expecting someone more impressive. <laughs> After all, Thought Wen was one of the most reliable veterans. Of my most reliable veterans. Defeating him must have pushed you to your limits. Not really. I'd like you to... Um, I'd like to say that I am looking forward to meeting you in person, but because I expect Thought Gran to end your life here, I am afraid that won't be possible. You've been interesting, but ultimately insignificant. Farewell. Eh, sure. Ooh, nice. Let's do some mines. And some more drones. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the mines. All of my team is also dead, but... Uh, okay, okay, that was a little bit closer than I thought it was. Uh, that's it. Now that we've taken care of the officer in charge, this entire mi mining operation should fall apart. But who sent that message? Thought Trell? Could he be the one who is be behind all of the problems that the Ferry are having? We'll need to look into this in more detail, sir. Starfleet should be able to send patrols to ensure that the Breen don't set up shop here again. Or perhaps the Deferi will establish a Dalithium mine here themselves. We can leave wherever, whenever you are ready, sir. First, let me get my loots. There we go. Can you imagine f five engineers with mortars and turrets? Because I can. <laughs> it would be glorious. Okay, beam out. It would be glorious. All of that DPS. Oh my god. So good. So, so good. Out in the cold. Completed. The survivors are on their way home, and we will be sending an expedition out to assess the viability of operating the mines ourselves. I think it would be wise to consider a joint operation with your government. The resources in the Zarya system are rare, and the best way to maintain the balance may be to share them with you. Thank you for uh, all of your assistance. Your actions help to preserve the balance. And we get the cluster torpedo. And some more dailies that we're never gonna do. <coughs> let's, let's, let's just have a look as to what sort of rewards these would give. Like, a little bit of dilithium and a little bit of experience. That's not worth it. Honestly. It's really not worth it. Oh, this is... Uh, yeah, but... Yeah, they're, it's, they're very long missions and I don't like them. <laughs> I really don't like them. <laughs> oh, diplomacy XP. I might do it for that. But maybe another time. Okay, that does it for this.